What's up guys, it's Websoak here, and today we have, another, <laughs> we have another episode of Minecraft MTA New York City Subway. So, we have another build tour, because everyone wants me to start doing build tours again. So yes, if you're new to the channel, I am Websoak, and I'm building the entire New York City Subway in Minecraft. And today we have the IND 6th Avenue Lines, 23rd Street Station, or probably more commonly known as the F and M 23rd Street. So here we are on 6th Avenue and 23rd Street in this modded Minecraft world. Um, you can see uh, there's 6th Avenue and uh, you know the lanes and they just disappear there for some reason, uh, like in real life. Um, so a new thing I'm going to be doing is uh, vents. Um, I was kind of opposed to these because uh, when I was doing vents before, they sort of let this uh, sunlight through that I didn't really like because in real life, the sunlight doesn't go straight down. It goes off to an angle, so it doesn't make it all the way down to the platform, but uh, in Minecraft it does. But I decided that lighting is it's a trade-off. So we'll take that temporary trade-off, and it does kind of highlight parts of the station. So we have vents now. So yes, vents. And... Um, I may still tour 50th Street on the uh, one line, but uh, I'm not sure because I already did a few videos there. But uh, we'll see. Come over here to these entrances. So why are they under construction? Well, I'm not the one building the path, and these are part of the path subway, which uh, goes to New Jersey. So TMC is building the path, not me. So they are his uh, entrances, not mine. So I don't build those. But uh, I do have these entrances here. So here we go. 23rd Street Station, Uptown and Queens, F and M. Uh, let's do the other side first because that side is missing entrances. And this side is not. So if we come over here, 23rd Street Station, Downtown and Brooklyn, F and M. So I originally wasn't going to tour the station for a while, but people were asking for more videos. And I want to upload a lot more this year than last year. We didn't upload very much. So... Um, yeah, uh, I'll tour the station, but I was going to delay it until I was able to make Herald Square and 14th Street because there's no tunnels to connect to that. So you'll notice uh, black wool uh, where the tunnels are supposed to be. So uh, you have the signs there. We'll come back to those. And um, over here, instead of the blue screens that you've seen in previous tours, they are now like this. There we go. Nothing to see there. There were no problems there. So now it is perfect. <laughs> so that's the right one. Okay, no problems there. Nothing went wrong there. And we have the Metro card machines, which are supposedly going to be phased out for Omni. But I also heard that there will be a physical Omni card, so they might not be phased out. But this might be one of the last days, you know, end days of the Metro card machines. You might not see these in uh, very many upcoming tours. So that's uh, sad. End days of the Metro card machine. They were pretty nice. I liked them in the stations. They added a bit of uh, stuff to these mezzanines. So I hope that we'll get a new Omni one. Um, so anyway, entry F and M downtown in Brooklyn. You know we have the Omni now. So scan it Omni and go in. And of course, here are the platforms. So we uh, come here. There's like this little shorter uh, area. This is actually closer to the correct height. This area has a higher ceiling, and um, that's uh, different, so most stations don't have this, but this one does. So you have the shorter area over here, and of course the modern lights there. That's weird. <laughs> when it turns off, it sort of uh, glitches. Um, so you have those, then uh, new mosaic style within the series. So I used to use texture mosaics for IND stations. Uh, that's no longer the case. Now they are using the little tiles like the other stations. So. We have all these little patterns in them. And then, uh, of course, 23rd Street. Then, of course, you have the dog mosaics that are present here. So there's those. They are mosaics, not paintings. Um, you have the route sign here. So downtown in Brooklyn via 6th Avenue Local. F to Coney Island, Stillwell Avenue, all times. M to Middle Village, Metropolitan Avenue, weekdays and eaves. And then uh, you have this sign, exit, 23rd Street and 6th Avenue, and path. And of course you have the benches. You can sit on the benches. You guys know how it is these days with the benches. They, uh, you know, everything has to work. So uh, there you go, sit down on the benches if you want, or just stand, or stand here, and then get pushed into the tracks. Um, you can do that, whichever you prefer. 
and uh, over here you can see the vents so that goes straight out and um, of course I like I was saying in real life sunlight wouldn't make it all the way through it would stop like up there but in Minecraft it goes straight down so there's sunlight on the platform which is kind of strange but it's more realistic to include vents than not to and uh, so for accuracy I'm including the vents despite the sunlight problem and of course you have these leaning bars which they have at some of these ESI stations um, I don't think they were very popular though I certainly don't like them so I don't see them at all of them just some of them uh, like this one so uh, yeah so this is what I was saying before when I mentioned that there were no tunnels connected to this but I did want to do a tour because you guys like the tours so it's just wool there for now. Uh, at some point, it will be connected. Uh, my plan is to continue the 8th Avenue line to West 4th Street and then come back up 6th Avenue and then connect the 6th Avenue line to the 8th Avenue line um, at 59th Street. Um, the area north of 59th Street is not actually called Central Park West. That is still the 8th Avenue line. It's just a branch of it. But Central Park West isn't a real line like some people think it is. It's still called the 8th Avenue line. And of course here we have the dumpsters here. Very dark. Very difficult to see detail on those. And uh, just a little end area over there. And uh, I will use shaders in the thumbnail so that you guys can see how it would look with shaders and uh, hopefully at some point we can start using shaders again so let's go over to the other side exit 23rd street and 6th avenue to path wait for that to open up for us and of course tmc is building the path so no path in this video tmc will show the path on his channel if he builds it eventually if he actually finishes it um new uh stair detailing here so look at that more advanced uh stair paneling right there uh-huh let's come over to the other side you know what no let's cross over this side without the lanes the side's like all messed up so let's cross over here no crosswalks at uh sixth avenue uh between uh 23rd and 26th for some reason so yeah no crosswalks there there's a little taxi here and uh, vents you can look down to the platform and um let's head over down here so 23rd street station uptown in queens f and m and of course you have the path side which is closed because tmc didn't finish it yet and then we come over here it's basically the same thing so you just have the metro card machines and no exit signs because it's closed okay it's closed so there's no exit sign entry f and m uptown and queens come in here swipe the metro card or the omni I wonder how they'll handle that. Are they just going to cover that up? I wonder. Okay, so here we are at the other side. Basically the same, but of course, it's uh, pretty nice looking. Pretty detailed, of course. You have all the accuracy. You know, you have the um, you have the yellow uh, dog mosaics this time, right? Because you need all the accuracy. This is the most accurate subway in Minecraft. Route sign here, Uptown and Queens via 6th Avenue Local. F&M to Jamaica, 179th Street, and uh, Queens Boulevard Express, because that's what the F does. It, it's the Queens Boulevard Express, and that happens all times. But not the M. The M is only weekdays and eves via the Queens Boulevard local to Forest Hill, 71st Avenue. Okay, so if we come over here, uh, more vents. It looks like there's a tree just above this vent. So we're getting some shade over there so that we're not getting boiled by the sun all day. You can see my stations are very shallow now. You know, very accurate. Very accurate stations. The most accurate Minecraft New York City subway stations. Uh, short of grime and dirt. But this station is actually quite clean, to be fair. And uh, we come over here. And uh, even this, even this bout of accuracy. So we also have the trash cans. I wonder if I could throw things away. Uh, did it go in? Well, it's gone, so I think it went in. And of course, if we come down to the tracks, ah, it's even the correct height. You can't even jump up. So, yeah. And uh, that's for uh, this area over here. So I left like an extra area here so I can fit signals uh, once I connect the tunnels. So there's like a little block extra space here, like a little half block. So 
signals will fit. Of course, construction workers. That's what these holes are for. They're for the construction workers to hide in. So you can hide over there. This side, I mean, it's basically the same, but it's a tour, so I have to show the whole station. That will do for 6th Avenue on the IND. <laughs> that will do for 23rd Street on the IND 6th Avenue lines or the F&M lines. And if you enjoyed the video, then subscribe and leave a like, of course, share the video with your friends. I will be trying to upload weekly videos if I can this year. And I'll release the uh, V fanning video at this station within a few weeks, hopefully. It depends on when I get Harold Square and 14th Street built. And then after West 4th, of course, I need to do West 4th Street first. So it's all dependent on that. And uh, once that's done, I will release the V fanning video here. Uh, tours are back. I am back. Thank you so much for watching. And look at this road decay. Road is missing part of the crosswalks. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe and leave a like so that you don't miss out on more WebSoak videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.